In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the multimeter and the DC power supply. The multimeter you should be able to turn on just by pressing the power button here. If you can't get it to turn on, you want to check the power strip underneath and maybe the connections to the wall. And then you should see some green digits showing up here um, with whatever measurement it's taking. So the multimeter is a multimeter in the sense that it can measure a bunch of different electrical things. Um, here, we're going to measure DC voltage, so that's this first button, but it can also measure AC voltage, DC and AC current, and resistance, which we'll do in a minute. So again, press this button for DC voltage, and I've got a 9-volt battery here that we can measure just as a test. So the meter has two leads, a red and a black, and the black is going to be plugged into COM here, the common, the ground point, and the red into this top measurement point. Um, you'll always use this point unless you're measuring large amounts of current, um, which is for these, these other ones. Okay, so black lead goes on the negative side, the ground side, and the red lead on the positive side. And measuring our battery, we get 9.68, 9.7 volts. So somewhere around 9.7 volts. To measure resistance, so suppose we have some resistor here, we don't know what the value is. We can put it in resistance mode and just press that button. It's always a good idea to check that it is measuring properly. If you just touch the leads together, you should get essentially zero ohms. So 0 0.001 looks good. And then we can go ahead and measure the resistor. So just holding one lead on each side of the resistor, uh, we get 0.326. And your first thought might be ohms, uh, but there's a little indicator over here on the right that that's 0.326 kilo ohms. And so this is a kilo ohm scale, so that would be 326 ohms. In fact, this is a 330 ohm resistor, so 326 ohms is pretty close. Okay, so that's the multimeter. Second is the DC power supply. So we can go ahead and turn it on as well. And it has two setups here. So there is a 5 volt fixed power supply. And there is a variable power supply option between 1.5 and 15 volts. So let's go ahead and use the variable power supply. We can plug a black lead into the black terminal, a red lead into the red terminal. And so I've just picked up this lead off the, the hook on the wall. And now I've got a red and a black alligator clip that should be supplying whatever voltage we have here. Um, and the dial right now is set around 9 volts, so let's turn it down to maybe 5. Um, but before you ever hook this up to a circuit, you definitely want to check that it really is what you think it is. So let's use the meter to do that. I'll just clip the black lead with the black alligator clip and red lead here. We're going to want to set our meter back to volts before we do that. And indeed, it's 5.1 volts. So we can nudge this down just a little bit, say, till we get 5. 4.94, that's pretty close. Um, about as close as we're going to get by hand. We could go ahead and try the same thing, but over on just using the 5 volt fixed source. Again, we're going to want to red lead in the red terminal, black lead in the black terminal, and that's 5.03 volts. So if you just want fixed 5 volts for many of the circuits we're going to be building at the beginning of the semester, that's a great option. You don't have to worry about adjusting it or um, burning something out if the last person left it higher. Okay, That's how to use the multimeter and the power supply, and that will get you um, building basic circuits on your breadboard and powering them up and running.